This is the story of extraordinary people, of their battle with the urban jungle, and of the sport that has set them free. The uh, park was my life. I say it's all about Irish astronauts where. But I'm gonna go back to Irish space station work. Parkour. Parkour is my life. Parkour is who I am. Parkour is me. This is the story of parkour. You may know parkour as flips and spins, as death-defying leaps and incredible maneuvers across urban landscapes. But these four people, these free runners, have stripped the art down to its purest form, its true, raw beauty, with no need for the petty acrobatics you may have seen before. They are free runners, and their journey is just beginning. About two years ago, I stumbled upon uh, the interweb and I saw um, a video on two youths um, of a guy and he tripped over and he, he rolled into a nice little roll um, and I thought I can do that. It took me about six months to master that but yeah, now I'm, I'm pretty good. I'm, I'm there now. When I'm doing parkour, I see myself as like a lion, a lion in a safari. Uh, the city, that's my play and that's my safari. When I'm running from bridge to bench, it's just like going through the grasses. Uh, when I'm jumping, if I'm jumping from something to something else, and there's a kid in my road, that's just like a deer in my road. So I just demolish the kid out of the way normally. Sometimes the shoulder, sometimes the back of my hand, just whatever, whatever is easiest. A parkour brings a sense of meaning to my life. Without it, I don't know, I don't know where I'd be really. Probably out on the streets doing drugs and probably stabbing. To the outside world, those who practice the art of parkour may seem confusing, strange, or even disgusting. But what people may not realize is that the freerunners may have fought insurmountable odds or battled great personal turmoil to find the courage to be the artists they are today. I was uh, out in a field one time and I tripped over a goat and somehow some sort of instinct came alive inside me and I fell just into a roll. I, it was all a blur, I didn't even know what happened. But basically, it was just this accident that made me who I am today. I've always been a bit conscious of myself because I'm actually disabled. I have a, a tail, like most people have like a normal sized tail bone, but mine extends a little and I've always felt that I've needed to mask that with some sort of bravado. But when I'm doing parkour, it's just, I can be myself, I can be who I am inside. Parkour means I can be myself, be true to myself, be true to my tale. I'm a real sucker for love. I love people, big issue people. I'll just talk to them about parkour. We've got some of them coming down 
uh, this week for, uh, for our community Christmas parkour. Um, it's really nice, you know, when they've done their first tumble or they've jumped for the first time ever and they've, you can see it on their faces, you know, like, it's just the greatest thing. The free runners, in a bid to increase community ties and connect with the outside world, have organised a special Christmas free run to raise money for the families of those who have died whilst performing the dangerous art of parkour. Probably, well, the one I'm most known for around these parts is probably it's called the spinning bird kick. Basically, it's a variation of a trampoline jump, and you run up to your target platform, or just on the ground, you run up, you transcend into the air, and you just swiftly spin yourself around and flail. Now, most people won't do it correctly, and they'll land on their face. But I started off like that but this is how you develop moves in parkour. I feel like a free bird when I'm doing this move. So my signature move is probably the triple bench maneuver. Um, it's just three different approaches to dealing with a bench as it comes into your path. Uh, so you can either walk around the bench, uh, you can step over the bench, or you can just sit down on the bench. One of those three manoeuvres, I'd say my favourite, well, the one I'd use the most, is just sitting down on the bench. Uh, it's just the easiest. It looks the best too. What, one of my two signature moves is uh, the multi-tumble, which consists of me jumping over something or falling, uh, jumping off of a ledge and, and ending up in numerous rolls. Um, my signature move involves stopping as fast as you can, pausing for just a second and then just spinning with your arms out like a bird um, and then just continuing. It's called the death jump. Um, it's a lot more complicated than it sounds. You have to judge. You've got angle. It's, it's, there's a big part of uh, trigonometry involved. You've got, to, you've got to judge it just right. And if, if you're out by an, uh, you know, a degree, you know, I've, I've seen guys you know, misjudge it and you know, they've been in the wheelchair for the rest of their lives. Just sitting on the bench. I actually took a dedicated parkour trip to Paris. Uh, it was quite a good experience. I met quite a few parkourists down there. Quite a few of the public came up to me and uh, looked at me. Parkour is growing. Slowly, cities around the world are filling with a tide of beatnik iconoclasts seeking that thrill of tumbling from a post box or spinning dangerously fast around a lamppost. So what does it take to be a true parkour artist? And what's next for our freerunners? I think most importantly for people coming into the sport is start training and get yourself set at ease. Where would I go from here? I could go anywhere, to be honest, you know. Hopefully, back to the top, you know, a few kind of... It happens to everyone, you know, footballers, actors, miners, it happens to us all, you know. You lose confidence in yourself, over to, you know, your kind of performance just drops. I'm a professional free runner. I could teach people how to read using parkour. I could say, I could do a move, show them the move, help them learn it, fitness, and I could write down the move and that's how they learn how to read. You know, parkour has so many opportunities and people just aren't using these. So where did it all begin? Fresh from various correctional facilities, 
and with combined qualifications in delinquency, loitering, and an NVQ in business studies, our heroes formed an unbreakable bond that would take them to the dizzying heights of the extreme world of parkour. Our team of masters was born. Another great tip I have for people starting off on parkour is just to get yourself a set of these. Uh, they go to go in your shoes, as you see, but actually developed in NASA, which is the Irish Space Station. Uh, they cost about two quid in the pound shop, and they make you feel like a kangaroo if it says so. Uh, when I have these in, I can normally jump. Probably the four benches stacked, but I still like this to keep a little one bench and sit on the bench. I wouldn't suggest trying to tumble off something high. I did on a bridge once, first move we'll I ever tried. Didn't end well, I'm going to stop for it now. Pain. Lots and lots of pain. As I'm already at the top level of parkour, I uh, can't really take it much further, so I'll probably just keep up with just sitting on the bench. Just sitting on the bench. I know quite a few people that want to get into it. And I have been helping people, but it's a hard thing to teach. You either know it or you don't know it. You don't want to feel like somebody you're not. And I think if you're a budding parkour enthusiast, then you've just got to jump. To me, parkour, parkour is my life. Which is good because I don't have much of a life, so without parkour, I'd... Go on to the next question, come back to this one. That wasn't fast, we wait too much time. These stunning feats of urban perambulation may be impossible for most of us. So how does it feel to truly be a free runner? Parkour makes me feel unbelievable. Parkour makes me feel invincible. It's really hard to explain uh, the feeling you get when you're actually hanging in the middle of the air. I feel on top of the world. I feel like nothing can stop me. Once I start running, that's me. The war rages on. The war against stepping around things, against walking in straight lines, and against using staircases correctly. We've seen their world, we've heard their secrets. And though we ourselves may never brave the dangers of balancing on a low wall, we can be sure that out there, somewhere, the free runners will be fighting on. It's only a matter of time before the world opens its eyes to the power of parkour. But until that day, the free runners will be there, running free.